When we compare greater numbers, we can use two number paths with values to 20 arranged one on top of another. The number paths recommended for comparisons to 20 are purposefully shaded gray for the numbers 1 to 10 and white for the numbers 11 to 20. This shading supports the understanding of 10, especially when representing values greater than 10. Using sets of linking cubes, we can begin by representing each of the quantities. Each linking cube corresponds to a space on the number path. Some students may need to represent 10 in one color and four in another color. Others may represent 10 and count on four more for a quantity of 14. The same approach may be utilized for the quantity of 19. Label each number path with a number card showing the two quantities that are being compared. We can use the number paths and linking cubes to see that 19 is more than or greater than 14. 14 is less than 19. We counted more spaces when we represented 19, etc. As students understand how each space is counted on the number path, quantities can be represented with one linking cube. Count each space on the number path to confirm each quantity before comparisons are made. Seven is less than 17 because fewer spaces were counted, or seven is less than 17. 17 is greater than seven because more spaces were counted. Students may also recognize that 17 is located by counting 10 and then another seven spaces. Finally, continue to use comparison mats to compare the two numbers. Make sure that students understand that it's not a true comparison if we switch the order of the number cards. If needed, number paths can still be used to represent each quantity and make comparisons. As students become proficient with representing each quantity on number paths with linking cubes, transition to comparing numbers only with comparative language. Review the vocabulary greater than, less than, and equal to. Present two number cards and comparison statements so that students can describe the values in relationship to one another. The greater than, less than, and equal to symbols are not part of kinder standards. Rather, symbols are introduced in first grade to compare quantities. Kinder's focus is on using the comparative language and describing the quantities in relationship to one another.